Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. Earlier today, Ivana and I purchased tickets to what I'm told is a really lovely city in Prague. Because in about a month's time, the IIHF World Championships of Ice Hockey will be in Czechia, and Ivana and I will be in attendance. Woo! We're super excited for that. To be clear, we'll be cheering for Canada, but in the unlikely event of an early exit by Canada, I really have no problem cheering for Sweden or Finland, because the past month, in both Sweden and Finland, we've had so many good memories watching really good hockey, and I feel like these can be our secondary teams, because between those three countries, I'm sure one of them will be in the finals. Right. And probably even two of them in the finals. Right. So with that in mind, we're back at Scandinavia Arena right now, watching for Lunda in game four against Skelleftia. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. And so hoping for another win because uh, two nights ago, we were here in our first game and we got the win. I'm really excited for the World awesome. Championships. I think it's a good ending to our hockey series because my entire youth was in hockey arenas. Then I got older and made the YouTube channel. And Yvonne and I did four years of travel with exactly zero professional hockey videos. In the past month, we've made like a dozen or more. Right. And it's like my two passions are merging. And so we think the timing is just right. Because as you guys know, Ivana has a very time sensitive condition. A lot of people call it pregnancy. And so we think the end of May will be just the last cutoff for us to watch the tournament. Hopefully Canada wins the trophy. But if not, Sweden or Finland, and then we can go back to Canada and uh, take care of everything. So really excited for another hockey match today awesome. here in Sweden. It's, uh, it's a good feeling. And so with that all being said, let's go get our seats and watch Falunda win, hoping for a goal in the first period or some action a little bit earlier this time. But Hopefully. most important thing, the home team wins. So let's Come go. On. All right, the game is underway. Now, the lovely Ivana is predicting the score to be 3-2 for Prolunda. I don't think it's a bad prediction, but quite honestly, both of these goalies are very good, and so I will keep the same goal differential, but downgrade the score to 2-1 for Prolunda for my prediction. Now, today is Friday night, so there might be a higher attendance today, and maybe even some more energy in the crowd because the weekend is beginning and when Forlunda wins today, it will even the series 2-2, effectively making it a best of three. So uh, let's go Forlunda. I'm ready for a big win. A backbreaker to start the game. We're not even two minutes in the game yet. I tell you what, these Galatia fans are here in bigger numbers than before. It must be because it's Friday, they're here for the weekend. Ay caramba, I almost missed the goal. It just kind of happened quickly. And so one nothing for the visitors. All right, no problem. Hey, everybody loves a come from behind victory. And that's what we're gonna have here tonight. So no problem, boys, no problem. <laughs> that really quieted the crowd down. Oh, right. uh oh, goal lost sight of it. He's got it. He's got it. All right, here we go. We got the power play. Time to get some redemption for that early goal. Although, from what I understand, Falunda is one of the worst on the power play. Ah. Last game, anywhere around that yellow goalie, man, they are aggressive. They defend that goalie like a, like a brother, man. Yeah. 
I tell you what, that last goal down here, Yvonne says she missed it. I showed her the replay, she still missed it. This one here, it's not even a minute or two minutes later, I might need another replay. I thought our goalies made a nice save. I was halfway through saying nice save, and then the puck's in the net. Darn. All right, so my prediction of 2-1 for the home team is already off the table. <laughs> Nine minutes into the game and I'm off the table. Yvonne has still got a chance with her 3-2. Uh, oh, it's a bit of a juicy rebound off the goalie's chest. Uh, a bit of a mistake from the goalie, but it happens, you know? You might have not saw it all the way in. You sort of lost the handle on it. Sat right in front of him and then there you have it, 2-1 for the visitors. I tell you what, at this rate, it's gonna be 11-10 uh, or something. So, so it'll be the most exciting game in hockey history. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Chances are happening left and right at both ends. It's quite exciting hockey right now. As a spectator, it's definitely getting your money's worth. Because both sides are getting good chances! What am I talking about right now? the last one but no problem tie game nice goal Whoa. backhand oh the big shot with the big backhand the big pull to the backhand really really nice goal really really nice goal wow <laughs> so we're about 10 minutes into the game, 10 out of 60 is 1 6. So at this rate, it's going to be 12 12. <laughs> at this rate, it's going to be 12 12 in overtime. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't turn the camera off because any moment is a highlight. Oh my gosh. What a game. Four goals in 10 minutes. It's unheard of. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh! The goalie lost it. That was that was nearly a goal. Oh the goalie lost it and it was right beside the post when he was looking in the slot. Oh my gosh. Wow. No 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 no! Ah come on! Ah darn it! Alright, we're short. I tell you what, man, this crowd here in Sweden, they are a very knowledgeable hockey crowd. They're not only cheering for a goal. They're cheering for when the ref misses a call, or if one of the players drops their stick and there's an opportunity on offense, uh, they know the game because at any given moment, they're ready to cheer if something goes on. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Our goalie tried to cover that and kind of missed it. I wonder if he... Uh, Waiting that puck a bit. Here we go, here we go. Three and two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the crowd is on the edge of their seats. Give it a go. Nice play. Oh, nice backhand. Oh. Turn the fire. Oh. Man, nice try, fellas. Two great plays in a row. The crowd's so loud you can barely hear the horn. But it is the end of the first. So let's go for a beer. Wow, I can't believe it. You literally cannot even move when you leave your seat. Uh, I don't know if they sold too many tickets or something, or if they didn't plan ahead, but it must be packed to capacity in this arena. And when you try to go buy one beer, I promise you it's impossible. Cannot be done. Shoulder to shoulder to the point that the hallway is stopped. Unbelievable. Anyway, the product on the ice is so good that it doesn't bother me that uh, the arena is so crowded it's crazy. Anyway, second period starts now, I guess. All right, so the second period just started. It's looking like it's anybody's game here. Oh, good skater right from center ice. Oh, heck of a back check. Oh, give that kid a contract. That was an amazing back check. <laughs> 
Anyway, this is the uh, intermission entertainment, which is pretty fun to watch. <laughs> I still remember being that little and playing hockey. <laughs> All right, second period, let's go. Hi, caramba. Another goal. I mean, we still have people coming back from that long beer line. I can barely see it. Oh, darn it, man. Exactly, people are going to come back and say, what happened? Well, there you have it. The, the goals continue. 3-2, one minute into the second. Hi, Karamba. Uh, shot from the point through a screen. Goalie didn't see it on the way in. All right, so officially, Ebona's prediction of 3-2 is off the table. My prediction of 2-1 was off the table for quite a while now. But watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, man. Just missed the net. I thought for sure 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> This is how hockey is meant to be played, you know? I guess because of analytics and stuff, uh, hockey's become more and more defensive and people trap the neutral zone and force teams to dump and chase. But out here, it's just end-to-end, -end, odd man rush. This is like, so exciting. If hockey was played like this every game, I swear it would be the most popular sport in the world. <laughs> just awesome. So many chances. Nearly a 2 on 0 2. Wow. Man, unbelievable amount of opportunities in this game. Both sides are going to be. Oh, there it is! Twelve, twelve. But we're still on pace for six, six. <laughs> and the scoring chances keep coming. Wow. Oh my gosh! Oh, what a save! What a save! Wait, that was a goal? Oh my god, it's 4-3. I thought he caught that, man. I was screaming, what a save. Oh my gosh. This game is unbelievable. It's 4-3. Oh my gosh. The away team fans, they're glad they made the trip for this one. Oh my gosh. Really getting your money's worth. Seven goals? Already? Wow, there had to be at least seven or eight scoring chances each way. I've seen entire games that don't have seven or eight scoring chances each way. This is not even halfway through the second period. And I mean, it could be 10-10 it could be by now. Wow, what a game. The goalie's helmet, the goalie's helmet came off. What happened there? This game has a little bit of everything. I mean, we're trying to score, and the goalie's looking like it's 1955 in net before they wore helmets. <laughs> no penalty call, but the goalie's helmet came off. So, I guess we didn't take it off. I guess he didn't take it off. Some sort of incidental helmet removal. some momentum because we had good puck control there so I wonder if we can't score right now nice nice eyes there nice pass across the ice there it is there it is on it on it on it just shoot oh <laughs> well, it's a great game it's absolutely a great game I 
I'll tell you what, you could have swore we had a power play for the past five, six minutes. We've been attacking and controlling the puck the whole time. And now we got a bit of a two on one happening. And one of our guys lost his helmet again. <laughs> this is playoff hockey and it's one of the most exciting games I've, been, I've ever seen. I tell you what, I think the huge crowd at the Rio Beer Station is nothing new because it's one minute left in the period and tons of people are leaving. They're going to get their beer on time. I think we're going to miss the beer, unfortunately. Because you can't miss a minute of this game, you'll miss two goals. <laughs> and I guess that'll do it for the second period here. Now, should we even try to get a beer, Mona? Let's try. We did it, everybody. <laughs> Successfully drinking a cold beer and intermission. Incredibly packed in here. The line is crazy, but we did it. Now, what analysis can I possibly provide? 4-4 <laughs> four, four after two periods. Great game of hockey. End to end. One of the best, most exciting games I've yeah, ever seen. I agree. Same, right? Yeah. Just great. So hopefully we come out on top. But at this rate, it's going to be 6-6 six, six and overtime, which will be <laughs> the best. All right, third period. So I tell you what, all we've got to do is keep up the same energy as the end of last period. Because we were on the attack and we were really controlling the puck well. Like we had figured out their defensive strategy and we knew how to attack them. So obviously now we're on the power play, but even on five on five, I think we've got a good chance. Ah, oh, nice save by their goalie. All right, six on four here. Oh, great save. And it was uh, briefly six on four because they're getting another penalty. So we've got a five on three for 17 seconds and then we got a five on four for the remaining minute 43. This is really our chance to score, guys. Come on, come on. Gosh, Ivana, I'm tired. I feel like I'm on the ice. I'm so I'm so out of breath. I feel like I'm playing hockey right now. <laughs> Huge penalty kill, boys. Huge penalty kill here. I think we're gonna need. I think we're gonna need one big save from our goalie. One big save, get the crowd riled up, get our boys confident, and then we go score. 
once they've come to kill over. Come on, buddy. Here it is. Darn it. I mean, 5-4 is like baseball score. It's... Wow. It's... Well, both Ivana and my prediction were way off, but how could we predict this? I mean, 5-4 with 13 minutes till the play. I mean, it's unbelievable. Here we go, here we go. a bit like a hit to the head of a defenseless player. I don't know, man. The crowd sees what I saw. They're booing. That was a pretty cheap shot to the guy's head, no? I mean, that that was an elbow. No call. So there you have it. The, the trip over here gave them the go-ahead goal. The elbow down there, no call. Hey, the nature of sports. You got to overcome adversity. So now it's our time to score. Despite the fact that we should be on a power play. I wonder if the refs will do a makeup call. They might have known they missed one, and they might uh, they might give them a freebie. Oh yeah, wheels, bangles. Not now. Not now. Don't you dare break my heart. Let me see the replay. I mean, that was one of those goals. Yeah, I did. That was one of those goals where in Canada we say, it's not how, it's how many. Meaning, it's not how you score, it's how many you score. So that one wasn't pretty, but hey, a goal's a goal. That's in the net. Let's see if the refs agree. Here it comes, here it comes. Help me in the middle of the night. Hook up, park up, one more like that, we need more, hey, more. I guess it was goal interference or or um, the whistle blew beforehand, something like that. But I know one thing for sure, the fans don't like it. The fans don't like it one bit. Ay caramba. Alright, by four. I really have a hard time believing that we're, we're not going to find the net one more time because the energy of the players is really reflecting the energy of the crowd and we are on the edge of our seats, man. The players have been pressing and pressing. I really think we're going to find the net one more time. Might be 5-5 five, five overtime. Might be 6-5 in regulation, but I think our boys are going to score one more before this game's out. we got about 12 minutes left, so see if I'm right but it just feels that way it just feels like the ice is starting to tilt that way and everything is kind of going towards their end but hey we'll see we'll see oh gosh first thing we do is give him a two-on-one 
Great job by the D-man to break that up. Great job by the D-man to break that up. Are you kidding me? Oh no, what a backbreaker. Number two just roofed it. A beautiful shot. But it's in the wrong net, man. Oh my gosh, this game has had everything. This game has had everything. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at the fans' faces. Number two just sniped top corner on his own team by accident. What a shot. I mean, you couldn't have placed any better. And now it's 6-4. I mean, he was trying to dump it around the net. He was trying to just rim it around the glass. And he roofed it, man. Oh, that's such bad luck. Now we need two goals to tie. Yo, it's going to be 6-6. Six, six. It's going to be 6-6. Six, six. Let's go! I can't believe this game! My gosh, I can't believe this game is 6 5. I mean, guys, uh, I've been listen, I've been playing hockey since I was six years old. I've been watching hockey since I was like three. I've never seen anything like this. Goal's good 6 5. 10 minutes to play 6 5. high in this game there's crazy things happening both ways and good news they're getting a penalty I mean it's a it's a bit of a wild penalty to take he just kind of took our guy out for no reason I think the, the game is so high energy uh, the players are gonna have to really maintain focus because the fans are going wild and and 6-5 is an unbelievable score <laughs> and so we got four minutes and 40 seconds left and we're on the power play. We are gonna need a goal. This is a good opportunity for us to tie this game. Here we go, here we go. Take your time, boys, take your time. Slow it down. Take your time. Great puck control, fellas. Great job. Uh, nice try, hey. Hold the puck, hold the puck, that a boy. Get away, fellas. Still our puck. Still our puck. Take your time. Take your time. Ah. ah. A lot of passes, but no problem. We still got the puck here. This is this is a really good power play. Ah. Wow. Look at this, everybody. We're going empty net. We're going empty net with two minutes and 25 seconds left. So it's six on five at the face off. We're not even getting possession before we pull the goalie. We're saying we're gonna win this draw and control the puck. Wow, two minutes, nearly two and a half minutes left and we won the draw. And we won the draw. Can't turn it over boys. Turnover is game over, more or less. This is a bold call by the coach. I mean, so far we control the puck, so it's kind of working. But to some degree. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, my God! Oh, my I can't believe 
go to the bench. Yo, six on five, six on five, end this game right now. Six on five, oh my gosh. So we've got 27 seconds of power play to end this period. And then we're gonna start overtime if there is one with a minute 33 of power play. And can you believe it? There's people going to get a beer early. Why would you come to the game if you're gonna miss the last 27 seconds? Oh, I can't believe people are going to get a beer early. But anyway, let's score a goal right now in this game. Come on, boys. What a wild ride this game has been. What a wild ride. Everybody's on their feet. Everybody's on their feet. Oh my god, everybody in the arena is clapping. Alright. Looks like overtime. Quick, you're on a run! Make it a beer! Run, run, run! Scored the goal, tied the game, and we beat the crowd to the beer line. <laughs> first one in line. We're really getting the hang of this hockey against Sweden, Ivana. So first things first, cheers. Me and Ivana. Now, what analysis can I provide? It feels like we're gonna win this game. Everyone in the stands going crazy. The energy is, every time the puck bounces or somebody falls down, everyone goes, <gasps> you know, the energy is just, Unbelievable. And so uh, the only prediction I can give is we're going to score and win this game. Come on. Now we are testing the trustworthiness of Swedish people. So I left my big green made in China jacket in the seat. <laughs> we'll see if it's still there. But I, I couldn't think. I was too excited. Oh, the MC hat is there. Oh, gosh. Hopefully they leave I the hat. I think it's still going to be there. I think it'll still be there. But uh, what, what an experience. I think this is the most goals I've ever seen. Yeah? 6-6 six, six is crazy. Wow. Professional hockey 6-6 six, six is crazy. <laughs> and I don't think either goalie's playing particularly bad. It's been crazy bounces and just end-to-end -end chances. True. I wish every game of hockey was like this because the fans would love it. It would be the most popular sport ever. <laughs> it's awesome. So anyway, we'll drink up, and we'll go to the bathroom, and then we'll... Uh... We'll score a winning goal. How's your tolerance for double overtime, triple overtime? I hope you know, it could go on till midnight. Oh boy. Oh boy. The classic Ivana, oh boy. <laughs> Tell you what, we're gonna score in the first five minutes, okay? You can almost guarantee it. Let's go. That's three face offs in a row. The ref beats him out. This time they picked him out twice. There we go. Overtime begins. And this is sudden death meaning next goal wins. So the players are gripping their sticks very tightly. The goalies, I'm sure, are doing all of their, uh, oh my gosh, almost the end of the game in the first 15 seconds. <laughs> but the goalies are doing all of their uh, sports psychology. Everything they've learned to stay calm, they're doing it now because one mistake and the game is over. What is that? And so we'll have to see if the energy of the game, in terms of the end-to-end -end action, we'll see if that stops because the players are nervous to make a mistake. I don't think it will. And keep in mind, we're still in the power play for another minute here. So this is our chance to end this game. I mean, a power play in sudden death overtime, you really gotta try to make the most of that. So come on, boys. What a play! Oh, that last pass was such a nice play. Chance. Just like that, power play's over. Heck of a play, boys. That last pass from the goal line forwards, what a nice play. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Oh, no. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but we got a guy in a box. And it looked like our bench was trying to decide who to send. Meaning, I think our goalie got a penalty for shooting the puck over the glass. I think our goalie shot the puck right into their bench, which counts the penalty. Oh, 
this is a huge moment. I tell you what, if our goalie took a penalty, we're gonna need him to make some big saves in the penalty goal because it's a bad luck call, but man, being down for a full two minutes in overtime, I can This is not easy. Oh god. Oof. Oh my gosh, my mouth's going dry, dude. Heartbreaking because it was 7 6 in overtime, but also because now the series is 3 1 instead of 2 2. So it's a huge swing game, and this is uh, the nature of sports. It's not over yet. I still got Frolunda coming through. It's gonna be a seven game series, okay? But what a backbreaker. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody.